Alright guys, I'm trying to get this video done real quick before, uh, before the rain comes back. But let's talk about the air boxes real quick. This is a 96 Suburban. And this is the factory uh, air box on a 96 Suburban. It's two piece. Has the big box. Uh, this part clips into the inner fender. Uh, just pry this down. And you can pry, take this, you take this off right here. And then you can, uh, roll this back and access the filter as you see all right so I'm gonna leave that on for right now because I'm about to sell it and I'm gonna sell this whole piece but this is a 96 truck and there's a couple aftermarket options there's a couple aftermarket options you can get uh, S and B I think is the most popular one for the six fives right now however if you want improved performance, which I don't know if there's a company that has proven the airflow specs, but the general consensus among the 6.5 community is that the K47 airbox, which is right here, uh, let's see, I don't think if it actually, so this one is 195 horsepower, um, 195 this one says on the box 195 horsepower and this one says 190 horsepower so I mean this is a 96 I want to say I got that off of a 98 um, but if you don't have the money for an SMB you might as well consider just finding a 97 and newer truck so 97 to 02 should have this factory here's the filter size obviously there's nothing to the end basically it sucks in everywhere and then comes uh it sucks in everywhere around i'll actually open this box up so take the top off and just slides in a couple tabs and so this one's obviously pretty used this is my new one that's going in and these are not cheap by the way these are i think like 30 or 40 bucks it's pretty expensive air filters, but however, if you notice, if you notice, basically the entire side of, it's it's fairly even in terms of the dirt. There's a couple couple spots that aren't quite so even, but it's pretty even. And you need three parts to make uh, your K47 upgrade work. You need the main box, obviously like this. You're gonna need this elbow. You could you could make one, but for ease of install just get the one off the truck that you're pulling this from get this one and then you're gonna need this piece right here so let's go over to here let's look at the difference so this is on this truck it's a one piece elbow on the 96 it goes right from the corner to there and on this it goes from On the K47, it goes from the filter to the elbow and then to like a secondary pipe that sits just like this to your turbo. Okay, so they both have the little the hose right here that goes to the CDR. This one does have a little restriction uh, gauge. If it's green, you're clear. If it turns uh, either one of the other colors, uh, then your filter is getting a little gummed up and you should replace it now most of these trucks have have like a turbo silencer hose so when this is sitting here there's a ho ho big plastic pipe that comes out and it takes a quick comes out and takes a quick 90 and uh, bolts actually right there and uh, what I did is you go to the plumbing store find a piece of PVC pipe find a piece of PVC pipe that's the right size cut it stick it in there glue it and then be done with that uh, just because that way you got one huge piece out of the way and nobody wants less turbo whistle anyway so that's why I suggest to do that if you can't build your own if you can build your own well then do that because it's better but so this is the K47 upgrade uh, they both mount the same way into the into the into the um, fender see there's two tabs on either side and otherwise this you get 
this little tab on the inside of the fender and these hold on the outside and the, pushing these in and out pop in, in and out the fender so it's a pretty quick swap uh, it's worth it if you can find one of these cheap they are getting a little bit more expensive now because everybody knows they're the better ones um, how much better that I don't know I can't comment on that in terms of statistics but that is the swap in a nutshell should take you less than 15 20 minutes total the hardest part is finding one although roughly half the 6.5 trucks that came with the 6.5 had that factory you know I, as they start going to the junkyard and whatever uh, they become harder to find um, and those are definitely going to be cheaper than buying an aftermarket brand so I like it for now I'm going to run it on this 96 Suburban that you've seen me do a couple videos on now and uh, about to take that airbox off because someone bought it and about to take that turbo off because someone bought it so and I'll put on the ones I want including this airbox so let me uh, get to starting to swap before the rain comes back because it was definitely wet I'm just going to do the airbox for right now I'll have to save the turbo for another time when it's a little bit drier but uh that's the gist of it so once you have that elbow out of the way as you see you just flip this switch on the top and that whole filter comes out so and then this tab let's pull this out I'm gonna reuse it but I just want to see so Honestly, the only reason this one might be less effective than the other one is that you've got this whole surface to come through and then it makes this abrupt turn to go right and then straight again. So, it's really not, I feel like I've seen worse flowing uh, intakes, but uh, this one uh, is getting removed for a K47. Alright guys, I'm out here next day, sorry. It got a little dark last night, so I kind of wanted to redo a little bit of this. But uh, th this one's already out. And this is why these are interchangeable. You've got um, this hole here. And uh, each type has um, their own thing. The K47, the 97 Plus box, and the older one each have their own one of these. And the only thing that's really different is where they mount in the and the holes in the floor basically now oh that one's got to pop out too that might be okay well shoot maybe I can reuse them the only thing I can think of that might be different is gonna be um, this hole is used to, to mount the screw basically there's a screw up through here or do I have that right here there's a long screw that comes up through here and then this one is just a regular screw into the bottom of the box uh, and that holds the lower half of the the air box steady now on this newer one the holes are in a different spot and I think these two are going to be the ones I use if it's not these two that means I might need to get a 97 plus uh, inner fender to make it properly screw down but with that said I ran this exact box right here uh, on uh, my other 96 without ever screwing it down to the fender like that and obviously worked just fine no issues and totally unnecessary but if you want to be professional as you see there's the holes um, this one right here at the rubber that has threading in it and that is where you screw it down and I think um, that is where that long one's gonna go so I just I shouldn't if it fits right there. We'll see where it all lines up once it's all said and done. But basically, you get this situated in here, which I'm not trying to put it in there right now because I'm about to take this off so I can remove this turbo. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't fight me too hard because I just sold it. I need to get it to the next donor. And, uh,. But yeah, basically do that. The grooves, little tab right here for this guy. Drop it down, 
if you've got the room at the bottom screw it in through the bottom and then uh, obviously come across in half you know, take the top half off take the whole center section out and these filters are not cheap they are pretty expensive they're about 30 some dollars a piece I believe but yeah so once you get that elbow in you put just this piece on let's see looks like it'll fit no problem a little bit further back than the other one though look it's gonna give me a little bit more space up front but uh because you can't flip it around it's just one way but I'm gonna leave this out for right now since I'm about to drop that fender but I just want to show everybody this box that like I said this is generally what people are going to for a affordable air intake upgrade um, how much of an upgrade it is if this top is off this upgrade is certainly noticeable because you have every angle uh, to draw an air with this cover on it's still technically only coming through a couple holes maybe at the bottom and then still only through the vent so I mean if it's in stock configuration I would like to the the actual flow numbers I'd like to see because uh, I don't know I don't think it's I, I believe it is more is it worth uh, the price difference that people are asking for these on the used side? Usually 225 or so. If you've got a whole, the whole setup like this, people are sell, trying to sell them for 200 or so. And I just sold the original one for 50 bucks. And uh, I mean, like, is it worth the difference? Not really. If I was really hurting for money, I'd sell this one and keep the other one. But uh, yeah. So. This is, uh, this originally, I don't know what year truck I got this off of, but it was 195 horsepower. Uh, the original airbox on this one, if you remember, said 190. So maybe it's a five horsepower difference between 96 and 97, just because of the airbox, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is the old project, um, which hopefully isn't a project too much longer. I gotta swap the turbo, get the gauges set up, drill the hole new injection pump relocate my filter to the wall and so one two three and then I have to figure out all these extra hoses for heating and cooling and after that I'm gonna just drive it for a bit mechanically I don't think it needs much else to be drivable it needs a lot to be to be nice but to be drivable uh, I think it's gonna need uh, I think it needs this half shaft the half axle still but yeah so that's what uh that looks like and uh, like I said guys if, if you happen to stumble across one at the junkyard get it just to sell it if you don't want to put it on your truck just sell it uh, if you do want to put it on your truck the word on the street on the internet it is better if you can afford the money the S&B aftermarket one probably is the best one but, but uh I don't there's not a whole lot of like automotive testing in the 65 diesel community is there like it's just kind of he said he said she said type stuff but um I mean so this is what the K47 intake upgrade is this is what they're getting right here if you're if you're looking for it if you're new to the 65 community this is the box that you are on this hunt for and I got mine off of a used truck uh, some dude was selling parting out his truck and I just grabbed this off him before he took it to the scrapper uh, I bought this in 2015 so five years ago I've had it for a while now and I've just swapped it but from truck to truck as I go which is all, this is my only second second 6.5 I've ever owned so I can't say I've uh, it's been to a lot of trucks but I saved it when I sold my other one and uh but I got a lot of stuff for my other truck still to swap out I still got this box I got a new one of those that I bought for my other truck and it's still pretty crystal white obviously this one ain't so I want to swap that out I've got the upper rad hose this one, this one don't seem too bad um I've got the a pulley I need to find another water pump I don't know I just got some this could be a real nice running truck as long as the injectors are good 
and she's not, uh, you know, hurting me on anything else. But uh, I guess we'll find out as time goes along. Oh, I got that rag joint. I gotta put it in. 